Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects. Today we're going to talk about another brand new awesome feature that Filmora has just released and it is the ability to customize your titles. This is very powerful um, and we're going to demonstrate it in a few different ways for you today. Let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the very basics of titles. And we'll just pick the default title and drop it on the timeline. We'll double click it. Now I'm just going to close this title group controller and just move it out of the way for now. I don't want to, we're not going to use that. And so far, everything looks pretty familiar to you. Uh, you've seen, you can pick animations. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen this before, but recently they've also added word art directly to this so you can just pick one and voila your title is now word art you can also change that font and keep the word art in place like so we'll go back to uh let's go to stick with the bold there for a minute but here's what we want to talk about this is the new feature let's go to advanced this is under advanced features advanced text edit and some new things have been added so you can really get in there and customize that new title of yours let's play around just a little bit with it and I'll try to demonstrate as we go we'll start with this nice big Filmora because I added the word art at the beginning it's currently in this color scheme and that's fine. We'll show you how this works. But let's go right down the line and show you a few things. Alignment. You can move this text around the screen. And keep it aligned with where you want it. Click the center and bring it back. If you want to change that gradient fill a little bit, you can. It's subtle, to be sure. But sometimes subtlety is what you're after. Okay. Okay. image fill it and color fill it if you want to just change the color completely and this is where some of the new stuff comes into effect and I'm going to show you now so now there's a plus sign here so we have blue and this will be very evident of how this works in just one second and white so you see blue white blue white blue white well maybe we need some purple so now we've got blue, white, purple. Okay, you get the idea, right? So it changes white to some green. And this is one way you can colorize um, your text, make it very special for whatever project you guys are working on. You can also back them out. And let's take this and fill it uh, to white. Let's scroll down just a little bit. Now you're familiar with the effects here, I'm sure. I'll just show you real quick. So you can get different kind of so that's kind of a shadowy text you can get a, a little blurry text anyway we're going to go back to the original one so we can mess with that opacity and blur are part of the effects i'll show you one more time so let's make a blurry one not so blurry and then we'll make it real blurry okay and there are definitely times when you're going to want to use that but for now Take that back to default. And now we're going to get into the really fun stuff. This is part of Filmora 11.4, their latest update. And this is super fun, guys. So I have a black background. So we're going to change our outline color to something we can see. White. And we're going to go back to the top. And we're going to color fill this to, um, let's say, red. So now we can see what we're doing. If you have other images on the screen, you can use the color picker to go grab a special color for your outline. So first off, opacity, okay, blur. I really like the blur because sometimes I want to blur it to make it blend into something. And thickness, so then maybe, maybe that outline's not uh, thin enough for you. How about that? So just a little bit. So we'll leave it right about there. Okay, now you may notice that there is another plus symbol here. And this is the new features, guys. This is great. 
So now what I've done, I'm going to close this outline up. But now I've made a new outline. And this is, as far as I know, this is infinite. So let's have a white outline with a something greenish like that. Okay? So now we've got two outlines rolling. If you want to back it down a little, back it down a little, increase it a little. Now you've got two outlines running. You can blur them so they look a little blurred in there. And anyway, you get the idea. So you can add more. You can take that one back away. You can do all kinds of stuff now. All right, shadow also has a plus button. So now, as you can see, there is a blue shadow. But I'm going to change the distance to bring that shadow out so you can really see it. And uh, let's add a second shadow. Let's bring a, um, well, there you go. That added a white shadow behind it. We'll just kind of bring that one in a little bit. And let's blur the blue one a little more. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. I like that. Look at that. So your possibilities here are endless. And since I've clicked over here to show you this screen, I want to show you that you can save this as a custom, which is pretty awesome. So we're just going to call this uh, Scott 5 so I can separate it from anything else I have. So Scott 5. Okay. Let's go back to over here. And let's just say okay. And there's Scott 5 has now been saved as a preset. And let me show you how that works. Let's just get out of everything for a second. And we're going to delete it. So it's gone. Okay, let's go ahead and use that preset. I'm going to show you how to do it. So instead of dragging down default title and starting over again, we already have it saved. That's what a preset is. So you go under Custom and Scott 5. Okay, drag it down. Double click it and type in some new text. And we'll center that up. We'll reduce the size. And there it is, simple as can be. If you find yourself making an incredible new custom title, make sure you stop and save it as a preset. And then, if you want to bring that in again and change the text, well, that's how you do it. Is that amazing or what? Let's double click that again. Let's go back to advanced. So, so far we've seen how you can do the color fill, the gradient fill. Uh, we haven't shown you image fill, but that's exactly what it sounds like. If you have an image with some amazing color scheme in it, um, just put it somewhere where you can find it. Click image fill and click this little button go find your image i don't know if i have one here we'll just pick that one and then there you go so now your image is in there we're going to go back to color fill for a minute so we've seen how to add multiple 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 outlines we have three running here we've seen how to add multiple shadow effect we have two outlines i apologize um, we've seen how to do shadow effects. We have two of them running there. And we've seen how to save this amazing new feature as a preset. And that's it, guys. That's what I wanted to show you today. This is, just came out with 11.4. You should already have it as long as you've done the latest update. There is no charge for this. Uh, this comes free with your Filmora, Filmora subscription. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I sure have, because I've always wanted to be able to customize mine beyond the word art. I use word art a lot, to be honest, but I wanted to go beyond that. So now I can take an awesome word art like that and really modify that to fit my video. Whatever I'm trying to do, like maybe I don't want blue, I wanted that. And it's as simple as that. I've basically made my own word art now. So, uh... I absolutely love this feature. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me comments. Show, send me some links to your videos with your custom.
title edit. So I'm really curious to see what everyone is doing with this. And we'll see you real soon on the next amazing video.